Hey, guess what useless gear I'm using? <laughs> I actually don't even recognize it. Is that it's like dark the, pieces? Yeah, it's the black armor from the dark pieces and all that. Yeah. It, it's, um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, unless you're just, you know, using it for looks to run around with it, don't don't put it on. This this armor has no skills. It has a lot of slots, but the slots don't make up for the fact that it has no skills. So as you can see, I, I barely got any skills on it because, you know, I had to... I slotted the hell out of it. Yay, attack. Uh, that's probably... I mean, I was just like, oh, what do I have that I can just quickly put on? And, oh, I, oh, well, I have these old sets of gear with all this attack up on. I'll just switch it over. Uh, and then I decided to use the Tigrex dual swords because uh, I had extra Tigrex parts and uh, I was feeling lazy. For I know Gunlands today. Well, you know, gotta show off different weapons every so often. And I haven't, and I noticed I haven't been using dual swords for a long time. So I thought it was about time I, I showed people my terrible, terrible failure skills at the uh, dual swords. And uh, we're doing a tigrex in the desert, of course. Um, they like to either wander around in the mountains or in the desert. Yeah, tigrex just likes to cause trouble wherever he is. Uh, well, I don't know, it's it's not a bad fight. Oh, okay, it's a bad fight with dual swords, because I don't know how to use <laughs> dual swords properly. So, uh, oh, prepare to watch me chug potions. <laughs> and I already prepared a mega armor skin ahead of time, because I knew this was going to be painful. <laughs> I always like the strategy of use power juice, demonize... Forever. <laughs> I, I admittedly, though, I should have brought more power juice. I ran out pretty quickly. Here he comes. And my lovely throwing arm misses again. Hey, those point blank throws are hard sometimes. No, oh, cephalos. Yeah, cephalos actually. I think they give me a lot of trouble in this video. That is their sole purpose in life. Yep, and you can't really fight them back because they're under the ground. Plus, you usually have something bigger to worry about. Yeah, there's been a lot of times in missions where I'll be fighting something and I'll stop fighting it to go and kill every Cephalos on the map. But then they, you know, they, they pretty much respawn limitedly here. So, uh. Yep, they usually spawn infinitely. Infinitely, that's the word. <laughs> And uh, I'm straight for the tail because the tail is going. That's what's going to give me the biggest problem when I have to be this close quarters. Oh my god, look at all that negative affinity. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, how do you say that? Negative awful. affinity has proc. It, it, it procced in like every single hit in that combo. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't like it, negative affinity, but. But how do you see it? Is it like a graphical effect? Oh yeah, you know how with the regular affinity it flashes red? Uh, with negative affinity, it flashes black. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Wow. Um, yeah, so Aren't negative you... affinity procs quite often. Yeah, you'll see it. Yep, you see all those like purple black flashes? Yeah, oh my yeah. god! Those are negative affinity procs, so each of those hits you're doing 75% damage. And the dual sword wasn't didn't even have very much du negative affinity compared to some of the other weapons. Oh. Yeah, negative affinity is terrible. It really destroys good weapons. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that was some unfortunate timing. I had I had expected I hadn't expected to do that extra U-turn. Also one thing about affinity, and this goes for both positive and negative affinity. Yeah. If you're doing a any sort of combo attack, if it procs once It'll proc for the entire rest of that combo. Oh, crap. So it's great if you have positive affinity, and it's awful if you have negative affinity. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Oh, look, at least nothing proc there, but still, wow. Oh, 
I, uh, that's uh, something I didn't know, though. That, now I'm going to doubly avoid negative infinity buttons, unless <laughs> I'm just showing it off. Yeah, yeah it's pretty I bad stuff. I wish Tyrex didn't have such negative infinity. I, mean, I wish it was better, but... Yeah, that's really the difference between it being a good weapon and it being just a totally awful weapon. Oh. Like, I, I just, I've never used Tigrex weapons because they're, the negative affinity is just so awful. Yeah, if I, if I had known that when I was uh, on my single player file and I was like, oh, I have a Tigrex that has high base damage, well, you know, the negative affinity won't come bite me in the ass. I'm sure it won't. Yeah, it probably did bite me in the ass constantly. <laughs> <laughs> But it is blue sharpness. Yeah, it has a sliver of blue sharpness. I can stab him a couple times before it goes away. Oh. Yeah, they, they're trying to trick you. Make you think it's a good weapon when it's not. I want to believe. I, I would love the Tyrex's weapons to be good because you know, they look pretty neat and everything, right? Yeah, and he's like, he was the cover monster, at least yeah. in Freedom 2. And, and then he gives you like the worst armor. Well, not not the worst armor, but the, pretty much the worst weapons in the game. Oh. Yeah, his armor is actually pretty good. Yeah, his armor is actually pretty good, like with the fast eating and all that skills. And the psychic vision. Mm -hmm. I actually quite like that. But, you know, once you once you go high grade earplugs, you don't go back. <laughs> Uh, That's the truth of life. Yeah. The uh, high grade earplugs. I mean, it's such a useful crutch because there's so. Basically, almost every large monster roars at you, and uh, <laughs> that roar will get you killed. So, while it is really nice to have psychic vision and other small things like that, you can use items to counter the lack of it. No, I always. I would always take a sharpness plus one. Over high grade earplugs, anyway. Oh, well, sharpest plus one, yeah. Well, good luck getting that in low rank, because you're not getting it. <laughs> First, high rank. That's what a uh, Santor armor is for. Uh, you don't have the uh, decorations to be able to pump that off. Uh, not that until right? high rank. High rank, there's a Santor armor that can, but if you pump the right the decorations on, I believe it's a attack large and a uh, plus one sharpness. Yep, and that's it's a red Santor. No, that's just regular Santor. Is it regular? It, yeah, it is. I actually have doesn't. it uh, on my uh, secondary file, and I use the hell out of it because best shit ever. Nice. <laughs> the Ukunlo set is also really good. Yeah, but that's... Or not the Ukunlo set, I meant the Akator. Oh. That was like high-grade earplugs, sharpness... I actually and never attack of small. I never actually built the armor set. Yeah, the Akintor armor set is kind of broken. Oh, oh that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Um, but no, I never actually built it because, well, how should I put it? I fought him once in my uh, secondary save file, and I was like, okay, uh, now I gotta get into this fight that will not be mentioned and named that has one horn in this black. <laughs> and after that, I was like, "Ah, oh, I'm done. Okay, so what's this other mission? Like, oh god, I'm dying horribly. It's I need G rank quick to survive again. Screw it, I'm not doing it." <laughs> and then I was like, "I'm done. I'm done." So I start the let's play and I get home. No, it's really fine. <laughs> you know, the act the actor set's really just really good. Oh, I yeah, actually well, it's a good thing I'm doing less play because uh, I'm gonna be farming the hell out of them. Haha! Dodged out of his roar. I love the heroic dodge. Or heroic dive. I've always called it the Superman dive. Yeah. That looks nice because you can even block flashes from Gypsaros. You can dodge all the roars, the quakes. You dodge everything. There's nothing you can't dodge with yeah, that exactly. thing. Exactly. It's great, but it also requires you not to have a weapon. Nice joke. And then you have some evasion plus, then you don't really need to even try and time it very much. That's true. My one of my friends, the light bowgun guy, he um He used since he's light bowgun, he always was support, he always used sass effects and stuff, so he just made the butterfly armor. Ah. Which gave him evasion plus two. 
and sass attack up. Oh, well, yeah, well, it's actually a really good armor set, especially for low rank. Yeah, so he was, he was pretty set for the rest of the game. Well, there's also the high rank versions of it, I think. Yeah, I don't think he gives you the same skills. No. Oh. But he could, I mean, because he went from paralyzing things in like five, six shots to two and three shots. Oh. And then he could also just roll through anything. Yeah, but just the evasion makes a huge difference. Uh, but that also requires that you don't use Gunlands, that I'm kind of stuck using most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, because, uh, oh yeah, yeah, it's it's really great for like normal lances because you can chain back jumps. But I right. can't do that with Gunlands. It's the least evasive weapon in the entire game. What's actually really fun for Gunlands is evasion uh, distance increase. Yeah, actually that one's pretty useful, because <laughs> Cause, that makes like up for the fact that you can only do one back jump, and you can get it, away from a lot of things that you normally wouldn't be able to get away from. Yeah, you only do one back jump, but you back jump like half the entire map. Mm -hmm. It's like half the monster length is just whoop, gone. Yeah, there's uh, so many fights, I would not have gotten hit by air effects that are around the monster if I could just do one back jump. I haven't gotten, oh, yeah. Well, actually, Gravios and Basarils are some of them, but um, there's another one that has always gotten me. Just because I, I, I lack the mobility. She starts with the L. Oh, yes. But I, I found a counter for that. <laughs> her brother is also very fun with that. Um, I think her brother's easy to fight. Really? Yeah, it doesn't have as many attacks to keep track of. Hmm. Maybe I just fought him in low, uh, high rank too much. Yeah, maybe. Uh, the only thing I don't like is you fight at the nighttime places. Nah, yeah. No, he's not. He's not too terrible. Oh, oh he's nighttime to find in the volcano good. is terrible because the monsters just stand in the lava and stare at you while you can't do anything unless you're a ranged weapon. And if you accidentally kill them in the lava, you're like, yeah! Oh man, I wish I could carve them. Yep. There's been a few times where I've been desperate enough that I've killed Plessioth in the water. Well... I was like, Plessioth. you know what, screw you, Plessioth. Plessioth I don't... needs to die. That's just how it is. Exactly. I don't... I don't... I don't care. I'm gonna kill you. If you die in the water, I, I don't even want your cars. I just want you dead. <laughs> uh, note how carefully I'm trying to avoid him when he's enraged. <laughs> when he's just charging around, because that does massive damage. Normally I'll just have yeah. him healed and I can just shield it, but uh, I have a terrible armor set. Gotta see if I can't get to go for the. Sometimes it really doesn't want to go for the food. It's really annoying. I don't think I've ever seen the monster go for food in Freedom Unite. Well, uh, I think it's only Kongalala and Tigrex that'll do that. And they have to be really tired or else they'll just ignore the food the entire time. I think... Oh, look at that. Okay, he went for it this time. It's just, I, I remember. Oh, should've healed. Yeah, I should've healed. <laughs> Oh, but, you know, I'm, I'm getting out of there to actually, uh... No, I didn't get out of there. I have to go back. Oh, well, why did I go back? Oh! Oh, well, Cephalos saves me. Ho, 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 ho. And he roars, and this is bad. Oh, right over you. <laughs> I was so oh, sure man. I was gonna die there. You lucked out. Yeah. You were so dead. I was so dead. <laughs> in, in reality, if it hadn't been for that Cephalos, I mean... All of the Cephalos have been screwing me over the entire fight. That one Cephalos decided to save me. Admittedly, that probably wasn't his intention. Yeah, I think you just locked down on that one. Yeah. Uh, but I, I really hate fighting the Tigrex in the desert because he just goes between 2 and 5 all the time. And he has yeah. no Jerry's to run around in. Oh, yeah. It takes a a whole map just to like run around and mm -hmm. just be a nuisance. Oh yeah. 
Uh, oh well. <laughs> and I, I was thought, oh, maybe he's weakened and went to 9, but... Oh, I was like, no, he went to 2. Oh well. Yeah, that was actually a pretty funny jump. like, I'm going to 9. I'm at 2. Yeah, well, you know, people... Uh, pe if people really want to see me run around back and forth without edits, well, you know, there's a live commentary. Because, you know, with live commentary, you can't really do edits. Right, no, it's That's just... You want the it's a live funny cut. be very disjointed. And now, I'm cooking a lasagna. And now we're eating the lasagna! Live commentary. <laughs> <laughs> now we're cooking lasagna. Oh, now we're finished with lasagna. Oh, those tasted really great and it looked awesome, too. Yeah. You should have seen it. Well, cut it out. So. <laughs> but now I'm actually starting to trip it. Uh oh, what power decrease? Ah, Whatever will we do? I don't know. I'll probably eat a couple more hits from Tiger X and then actually manage to sharpen my weapon after getting hit. Oh, man, so fast in rage. Oh, yeah. I'm. Uh... The dude is freaking terrifying. Oh yeah, especially when you know how much damage he deals. Especially when I know I'm using a unupgraded armor because I'm not gonna waste armor spears on this thing. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I can't believe you even made the damn thing. Well, you know, showing it off for the let's play. Of showing off as many armors as I can. I suppose. I mean, I guess it's a good thing I'm not doing let's play because I would just there's some armor sets I was like, no, I'm not. Well, I'm gonna bother it's, making it's called that. dedication to the threat, man. Nah, yeah. Plus, I have no life, so I have nothing better to do. <laughs> oh. Uh, nothing wrong with a little dedication. No, nothing wrong with it. I, I really want to get in there and hit him, but then I'm like, oh, the claws are growing red. I do. I really want to take all my health as as damage. No. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, if you're new at Dual Swords, it's hard to find openings sometimes, but I've been playing Dual Swords in Affordable Third, mm -hmm. and I've learned to find a lot of yeah, new yeah, openings. Yeah, I saw that one Luka fight we did pretty damn well. Oh yeah, that wasn't even... That was like one of my first times playing with mm -hmm. Dual Swords. That was just me learning how to... Oh. <laughs> Last second. That, yeah, that, that video was more just me playing being like, now. hey, I can record on my PSP, and also here's Portable Third. Huh. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm absolutely dreadful at dual swords. But then again, it doesn't help that I'm fighting something like Tigrex with dual swords. It would really help with a little bit more defensive capabilities and probably a better pair of dual swords that don't uh, miss out on a lot of damage when I use Demon Eyes. Yep. I'm, Looks like you broke one of his claws, though. Yeah, I think so. But, you know, I've been attacking the legs a lot. Been going for those uh, trips whenever I could. Ah, and the tail trips me up. Terrible. I actually lucked out that he was thrash me. And the cat gets mauled. I love seeing that. Cat deserves to. Ah, well, he throws bombs in my face. Those save you sometimes, though. Uh, every time I've gotten a bomb in the face, it has always disrupted my combo. <laughs> or I've captured a monster, and bam, he's in a trap. And and then the cat tosses a bomb, and then I get tossed a really far away from the monster, and then the monster gets out of the trap, and I lost my attacks of opportunity. Nope, limp it. You know what that means. Aw, uh, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna waste it, cause, uh... <laughs> yeah. I, will, I, I prefer to always wait until they try to go to a place where they rest, because half the time you just waste the traps thinking that, okay, he will jump here and... Oh, he left early. Never mind. That was a waste. Yeah, usually they jump at the same spot. You just have to, like, really know the map well. Mm -hmm. Well, some, I've seen sometimes where they left early, or they decided oh, there's a second spot in this one area here, so I'm just gonna go for that instead. <laughs> or they're right on top of the spot. That's no. unfortunate. That's just me being sloppy and being impatient. 
And it doesn't help with all the lovely app servers. Yes. Oh my god. App servers are just... I almost hate them more than Cephalos. They're jerks in the, fit, in the sense that they slowly lumber up to you. Slowly. Also, they're vegetarians. And then they'll push you at the worst possible time. They're vegetarians, like... They they don't even want to eat you. They just want to hit you because they're they're, they're territorial. They're big jerks. Yeah. Screw us, sir. Well, I, you know I feel sorry for killing those tigrex because I I believe it's the tigrex that eats them. Everything should eat them. Everything thing should, but there's a lot of herbivores in the desert. And the uh, plesioth certainly can't eat them too tough of a shell. No, slowly they, they, they go walking. They go the, uh, apnoths. Or fish, I guess. That, that'd be a pretty good thing for them to eat. No, headbutt. Oh, and these guys, they're just, they're, they're, they're dead. I'm murdering them right now. Yes, show no mercy. They must die, every single one of them. Yes, absolute genocide right here. They're particularly bad in Diablo's and Monopolis fights, these things, especially if you're a shield user, because you're standing there, waiting for the Monopolis Diablos to get stuck in the wall, and you have a shield out and everything ready, and then you're, you're looking at this this jerk slowly walking up to you like, no, go away, go away, go away. And they push you at the worst possible time. Yeah, and they push you, knock you out of block, and then Diablos just... And you, you, you can't do anything about it because there's there's a Monopolis or Diablos charging at you. Or you're, you know, he's about to charge at you and you're in the perfect position so you don't want to you know, like get out of this position. Ah, oh, they're terrible. You got some pretty good drops there. Yeah, actually some pretty good drops. Unfortunately, I don't really need any of them at this point. Right. Ah, oh, the cat has been too busy. <laughs> Well, he's busy getting mauled the entire fight. That is true. He got pretty messed up. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.